स्टेशनरी आइसोलेटेड न्यूक्लियस इमेट से गैमा रे फोटोन ऑफ एनर्जी 1.051 मेगा इलेक्ट्रोवोल्ट स्टेट व्हाट इज मेंट बाय अ फोटोन आई एम नॉट आंसरिंग दैट क्वेश्चन और शुड आई बिकॉज़ नो सर नो सर डोंट आंसर इट इज अ स्मॉल पैकेट ऑफ इलेक्ट्रोमैग्नेटिक अ डिस्क्रीट स्मॉल पैकेट ऑफ इलेक्ट्रोमैग्नेटिक एनर्जी now for the mm-hmm. gamma ray photon calculate the wavelength now we are doing something it is 0.51 mega electrovolt sir ye thoda sa azeeb hai no it is not energy of a photon is give me one day one 0.51 mega electro volt and we need wavelength see now first i calculate the energy in joules so it becomes 0.51 mega becomes 10 to the power 6 e becomes 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 which is elementary charge and this is my energy in joules so 1.6 into 5 Zero point five one is one six zero point eight zero point nine six. Right? Yes. Let's let me just take it on the calculator. Point five one into zero point five one minus nineteen. Zero point eight one six. So it is zero point eight one six into ten to the power. Uh, minus thirteen, which will become eight point one six into ten to the power minus fourteen joule. So this is now the joule energy. If you know the direct formula, E equals to H. lambda equals to c over f okay you will still get the same answer but i am using the single formula that gets me the answer it is lambda equals to planck's constant into speed of light divided by energy which we calculated 8.16 Into ten to the power minus fourteen. So, calculator says it is six point six three multiplied by three divided by eight point one six. It is two point four four. Into ten to the power two point four four into ten to the power minus thirty four plus eight minus twenty two minus twelve meters. Okay, because I know that this is minus fourteen, it will go upstairs and becomes plus fourteen. And it will be positive twenty two and negative minus thirty four, and it will become minus twelve. So this you is see. the wavelength. Okay, and uh, you can check with your calculator because I don't have a scientific calculator on the screen right now. I see it. Two point four four into ten to the power minus twelve meter. Its momentum. Now, if you remember the De Broglie's wavelength, which is. H over momentum, then momentum will be Planck's constant divided by wavelength. So it will be six point six three into ten to the power minus thirty four divided by two point four four 
into 10 to the power minus 12. Point six three divided by two point four four it is two point seven two into ten to the power minus twenty two Newton meter. Sorry, Newton se second. Two point seven two into ten to the power minus twenty two. Okay, now for this nucleus, determine the change in oops, uh, stationary isolated nucleus emits a power. Okay. For this nucleus, determine the change in mass during the decay that gives rise to the energy of gamma photon. Now, he is asking Please for the he is asking for the mass deficit. Now, the formula is E equals to m c square c square. We already know the E energy, which is uh, one. 8.16 into 10 to the power minus 14. Sir, we can use P is equal to MC. We can use P is equal to M. We can use M. No, no, no. Why, sir? Why? 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 That mass and this mass are different. This is mass deficit. Mass deficit will be energy, which is 8.16 into 10 to the power minus 14 divided by <laughs> 3 into 10 to the power 8 whole square. So it will be 0 0.91 into 10 to the power minus 30. So 9.1 into 10 to the power minus 29 kgs. Explain why after the decay, the nucleus is no longer stationary. Because of the law of conservation of momentum. Because of law of conservation of momentum remaining nucleus gets an equal momentum as photon in opposite direction. So if photon is emitted by the nucleus, then the remaining nucleus will have a jerk, uh, a force in the exact opposite direction. Okay. 